Hey. Well, I'm kicking it old school now. This is when I first began on YouTube, I started by standing. It was a big part of the motivation was I was standing and coming at you and talking to you and keeping it real and keeping my posture good because when I sit, I'm all cramped and it's like, how do you invoke a revolution from a cramped fetal position? Gotta stretch out, baby. You gotta stretch out, baby. You know, I have a few things going on in my life right now. I've published a book. It's really good. Um, I'm working as a media director at Minds.com. We've officially kind of launched Alpha. And it's, uh, it's a lot like YouTube and Facebook. I mean, it's a social media network, but it's a little different because it's open source. Uh, software. I don't know if you know what open source software is exactly, but you have proprietary software and open source software. Proprietary software is basically a piece of code that's written and copywritten and is owned by someone and is secretly guarded. Open source software is software that's written and given to the public. So Minds is open source, which means that it's basically the entire site is going to be available to the public. And a long-term goal of Minds for me is to make it so that people can start their own social networks with this code. So Minds itself is a social network uh, it, and everything on the site is going to be Creative Commons, licensed Creative Commons, which means that it'll be the kind of thing where you can reuse the material but you have to attribute it to the original creator. You're the creator but it's, it's open to the public, it becomes open to the public. So it's not really about ownership anyway, I don't think. I mean, obviously artists want to maintain their rights and hold on to the rights of their material, but I don't know. I personally think that time of history has come and gone where you could, well, I mean, there would probably always be a way to strangle art, like the music industry or the movie industry, for example. Damn, eyelash, okay. So, like the movie and music industry, they, when you can control who sees your art, you can charge people for it. And if there's a demand for people to want to see you, they'll pay. Maybe that will never change. But when, with things like the internet, where, you know, anyone can see anything, more or less, uh, it's kind of hard to guard and protect your, your digital material. And like, why would you want to anyway? Except to make money. I don't know. I, I kind of see it a little different. I'm never, I mean, obviously, I, I'm in it. I have to be in it for the money on some level. I don't like that. For resource, really. I, I need some resource. I need some sort of, uh, I don't know what you call it, safety net. These are the things I've been taught my entire life and told my entire life. I need to have like a, a nest egg. I need to have some money put aside in case something happens or if I want to buy a house or if I want to buy a car or if I want to go to a vacation. I need some, some money. So I need a job that will pay me some money and I, you know, I want to help my parents with when they retire and I want to give some money to my kids and put my kids through college. It's like money. you gotta, you got to save money. But as I've been growing up and realizing like maybe it's not so much about money. Maybe it's just more about helping society, freedom of information. Like I can't give everything away for free. If I gave everything I had away for free, I would have nothing. I would have given this shirt away. Um, but I want to give as much away for free as I can because, well, firstly, because I like to get things for free, so I know how that feels to get something for free. But secondly, because I want, I want to get past money. I, want, I don't want money to be so important. I don't see why everyone can't get free food. What the fuck? Why can everyone not eat for free? Where are we in society that people have to fucking pay to survive. Pay what? I mean, obviously you got to work to survive. That's part of it. Every animal has to work to eat. Except the animals that live in a tribe. I mean, but then you have one of those animals has to go work to eat. So part of it is you have to produce some sort of effort to maintain your stability. I get it. And maybe we will evolve past that 
so that we can all eat all the time without having to produce any work, but maybe that defeats the purpose. Maybe we're supposed to be weeding out the idiots and the stupid people and the people that don't, the lazy people that don't want to work. Uh, maybe they just die off because they don't work, they don't get. They don't have, they die. If you can't eat, you can't survive. <sighs> but I really see a future where we can provide for people no matter what, whether they work hard or not. Just being is producing energy. You're, you're giving just by being. It's... Boy, there's two sides to it, isn't there? On YouTube, you can make your videos Creative Commons, so do it. I've done this with like all my videos that are available to the Creative Commons. Um, but do it. Make, make your videos Creative Commons and then upload them to Minds also so that they exist in more than one place because if YouTube goes down or if Google decides to turn it off one day, all that information is gone. Not that they would, you, know, you could say not that they would do something like that, but hey, it's, it's the world. It's, it's, it's reality. Anything's possible. So aggregate your media. Get it on as many networks as possible. There's a few ways to make money on mines. You can use the market, um, which is like a PayPal-based buying and selling organism. Um, you can also down the line you can monetize your videos and get ad revenue, split ad revenue with the site but also they have, uh, Minds has a streaming video section and you can basically sell tickets to your video streams they're called gatherings also in regards to copyright and one of the hugest I think impacts that Creative Commons is going to have on the future if not the present of media and evolution is that I mean consider your videos and your pictures, information, um, blueprints to, you know, one, one thing you say can unlock an idea in someone's mind and they might end up building the most important technology that's ever been created. You know, make sure that no matter what happens, everyone's got access to your art. And then you can sell it too, like they will buy it. People will buy your stuff if they like you and they like the art and they want to support it but it should be free also. I'm looking forward to making like a, a social network where we can own it ourselves. Donate to our cause, make an account, make a video, make a profile, update your profile with pictures and add me as, your, as a subscriber, subscribe to my channel. We have like hundreds of people around the world working on it, like people can just take the software, add to it, and then give it back. So it's not like, it's not like, it's basically like if you can dream up an idea about what you want on the network, you can give that idea to the, the, the people and they will build it, they will make it happen. All right, see you.